I see the recording is, is starting. So by now we know the how the stand-ups go. I don't know if there's someone from Chen Academy team with an announcement before we start. Any announcements from the Chen Academy team? So if there are no announcements, maybe just to retaliate. We only have one. You know, today is Tuesday. We have two tutorials, two technical tutorials today, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Just to be sure to attend that. They are one hour, 30 minutes long each. That's by your request. And um, yeah, if there are no other announcements, we'll just go straight ahead to the stand up. So just how is your group faring on? What have you been able to do? Have you already distributed tasks? What did you do yesterday and what is the plan for today? So underneath, I see your hand is still up. You'll, you'll represent group five. Yes, uh, it's up from uh, the previous one. So, okay, uh, shall I update you? Sure. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm from group five. So uh, yesterday we had uh, uh, a little bit long, uh, a longer meeting. So we've discussed about the task. So we try to like break down or go through each task. Uh, and uh, we also, of course, like divided tasks. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna be working on uh, the task we've given, um, that's it. So were you able to do to do any progress yesterday? Maybe you had any blockers? Uh, not really. Actually, yesterday, uh, all we did is trying to understand what the task actually is. So uh, we try to uh, break down each and every task and we try to uh, see like the understanding of each group member, like the tasks. So. We, we've also uh, brainstormed the architecture of the, uh, the, the architecture of the project and we'll, we've also tried to design some uh, architect uh, some like architectures the technology we would be using the their connections and everything so we, we might gonna like modify it uh, a bit but we have some kind of structure uh, as to how we're going to approach this project. That's all we did. Okay, that's nice. So maybe just uh, because not much was done, could you just maybe give us a breakdown of who is handling each task in your group just to keep track throughout the week, if you have the list, of course. Uh, of course, I have. I might have to go through it. So, uh, yeah, uh, mainly the 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 architecture and design is. Uh, going to be handled by Degaga, and we are also like uh, we've created a Figma, uh, a Fig Jam board that we all can sh uh, 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 design. I mean, uh, modify so that like we can put our uh, comments and uh, redesign the the structure. We uh, I I have uh, the I have been de delegated a task of designing the entity relationship diagram and the flow charts of the system. So uh, I'm going to be uh, designing the database, basically, and the schema. And uh, basically, what, what we did is just to try to like uh, divide uh, tasks that we're going to submit in the interim submission. So Margaret has also uh, been tasked uh, to do data exploration and object-oriented programming. And she's also in charge of like uh, uh, making like the flow planning in the GitHub issues. Uh, Tabarek is going to be doing the integration of bus backtest. So Johannes Samuel is going to uh, be working on the backtest runs and using uh, the tracking multiple backtest runs using ML flow. And uh, there are also some overlap tasks that we going uh, we decided to work on together. This is just the overview of uh, our task delegation. Okay, so I see most of your tasks are actually 
engineered towards the interim. I don't know if you have a plan of the rest of the plans, the rest of the of the tasks. Will you do this after yeah. the interim? Yeah. No. Before that, we we're, we're gonna like uh, also divide each test. Uh, we we did uh, we only want to focus on the interim because just like to see uh, how we progress on that and like based on our progress based on our understanding we're gonna like delegate other tasks to uh, our members so uh, yeah okay thank you for that detailed update and in it that was group five so i don't know if we have someone else from another group i hope you've seen the structure what did you do yesterday how is the distribution of tasks and what is your plan for this week so uh, okay. just moving on to we have, we've group. also uh, uh communicated with uh, i mean uh, gideon group two he approached me uh, to like decide on where to meet and we've also like decided on a date where two groups like group two and uh, group five are going to meet and update on our progress. So that's uh, the meeting. Part of it. Okay, so the meeting between group five and uh, I don't know, Gideon is from which group is already set? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, this is very nice to hear. So next we go to Gideon. Which group are you representing in the just give us your update? Uh, I'm from group two. Okay. Okay, and uh, we've had two uh, we've had two meetings uh, since the start of the project. One yesterday and another one today. So we've discussed uh, our understanding of the project, and uh, we've also created uh, a documents file so we can just share resources and just to uh, to make it easier to compile our our reports and to, to to create a unified understanding of the project. Uh, we've also uh, like created uh, just a, a basic flowchart of how we, the different tools will interact with each other. Uh, and we've also like uh, tried to specify the different tasks we're supposed to do. And we've divided those tasks amongst ourselves. Uh, but we'll Will will be like overlap. We'll have overlapping tasks, so yes, we can help each other. Uh, so, so far, I think we've had a productive week, and I think we're on track to 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 submit our interim and our final submission. Okay, that's a good uh, update. So maybe do you just have a division of the tasks and who is handling it, so you can just have people held accountable. Uh, yes, we've created uh, like a task division, and uh, we we try to assign like two people uh, on each task, so we'll have overlapping tasks to create some redundancy. Uh, and we've assigned the the different tasks for different people. Yes, we've divided that. Okay, so any specifics? Which task to who? I uh, see. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Uh, so uh, we've we've delegated uh, the EDA part to Bagalu uh, and also the database design. Uh, we've delegated the backend and Kafka parts to myself and Isaac, uh, and uh, the integration of Airflow and MLflow. Adijat and Henok will be working on that. And uh, front end, uh, Nathaniel will be working on that. The back test uh, will all be involved, uh, I think, in the back test since that, that's the main component of this week. But uh, mainly, Nathaniel and Bertukan will be handling the back test. Okay, okay. I think I got most of that. I was just noting noting down. So I, I see most of your tests are geared towards just everything up to the final submission so yes i think uh, i think we should planning ahead and like, we, so we don't get caught off guard after the interim submission we're just trying to plan ahead okay thank you for the detailed uh, update so i saw that snail's hand kept going up and that's also group two i don't know if you had anything to add on just before we go to 
group one by MTN. Let's know if I saw your hand up. Is there anything you had to add on? No, I, I, I was just trying to list down the tasks, the tasks, but carry on, just did. Okay, okay. Thank you for that contribution. Okay, next we go to Mtinan. I assume that's group one. <clears throat> yes, uh, I'm from group one. Okay. Sorry, I have to, um, like, uh, our progress so far uh, in our group. I think uh, we are having just discussions in, in our Slack channel. Uh, we are having the block of not completely really understanding what is required in this is this challenge uh, we haven't managed to uh, to meet yet um, I think there is an issue with some of the, our members are not really available so we were planning to meet to discuss uh, our understanding of the challenge and distribute the task so but this is uh, something we're going to do today um, so we haven't got that far yet Okay, so when you say you need to meet today, you have a time that everyone has agreed to, so you are sure that the meeting will actually happen today? No, actually we don't have a time agreed on yet. Um, uh, some of, our, of the members of the group are, are weirdly un, unavailable, so I think we need to, I need to check with everyone. Um, I'm trying to reach out to everyone. Uh, can we just just to ask who's who's in charge in group one? Who's uh sorry who's not available? Who is in charge? Who's the um, lead? I am, I am, I am the lead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, such a such a high task there. And another question I wanted to ask is saying you not really know as a group what is required from this week. What's what measures have you done maybe to to with the deal with this blocker? Uh, we're, I think we're doing some reading, so, uh, just trying to understand what backlisting is, uh, how it works, and, um, yeah, so, we, we have uh, several resources in, in, in our Slack channel that were shared, uh, videos and stuff about backtesting, exactly, so we are trying to understand backtesting, that's, um, that's our major... <laughs> Oh, okay, so which group, which group are you scheduled to have at least one session with this week? Which other group, group four. Group four. Have you been able to communicate with group four? No, we haven't reached out to group four yet. Oh, okay, so if they don't, by the end of today, you should be able to understand what's required from this week's challenge. If you don't, just kindly ensure you have a meeting with even the leads of group four and come up with an arrangement so that they can help with this understanding. Um, yeah okay yeah okay so i will be expecting a, a task division by the end of the day as well to just ensure that the meeting that will happen who are you working with like uh who's the should i say the there, there are two bolded names one one should be like the deputy who's your deputy in my case are you asking sorry yes your case in China. my it's for say there's is a is the second. Have you been able to communicate with Visa? Yes, we were discussing. Uh, I was discussing with him yesterday, so he's not uh, the one who's not available. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we discussed a little, but um, yeah, he's the liberty. Okay, Mtina and Fiseha kindly take charge of your group and ensure by the end of today you actually have the week mapped up for you guys. Okay, next we go to Wangoi. Wangoi, go ahead. Which group are you representing? Um, representing group three. Okay. Uh, so, um, we've we've had a couple of meetings, and uh, so the first meeting we had, uh, we went through the challenge document and the flow of data. We also discussed <laughs> the task breakdown, um, and then we also. Uh, just discussed issues arising from last week's project, um, how to better communicate um, between uh, tasks and uh, between members as well, um, as well as how to <laughs> integrate um, the different components. Uh, today, um, 
<laughs> today uh, when we met we have allocated uh, our our tasks in the group um okay let me find them since you 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 need them uh, so okay. uh so like for the git preparation and the repo stuff so like the file creation organization that will be uh me and mohammed um and then for airflow uh okay so in our group we have um we decided to use uh, the structure where like there's going to be like someone working on it and then like someone in a supervisory role um someone who worked, the person worked on it last last week um so in the airflow uh we have um Wangoi, mohammed um and Hewi nicole um uh, and uh yeah in, so who's supervising maybe you can just mention who's supervising and who's actually doing the work uh hayley Mikkel, um and i believe mohammed is going to be working in airflow like developing in it um and i um i think me as well uh and, and <laughs> In, in Kafka, uh, Mohammed is going to be supporting. Um, I will be, okay, Wangoi will be uh, developing as well as Patrick. Uh, Jen Rose will be supervising. Uh, in the back test, uh, Haley Mikkel will be supervising. And Nahom and Jen Rose will be developing. In the EDA, uh, Jonas will work on that. Uh, for the back end, we'll have Haley Mikkel, Jonas, and Mohammed working uh, on the back end. Um, for, I think, all in development roles. Uh, for the front end, we'll have uh, Patrick and Nahom in the development roles, and then Haley Mikkel supervising. Um, for the MLOps, we'll have uh, Patrick and Jane Rose, um, and then to to in uh what is it to integrate uh the different components in the pipeline uh we'll have Haley Mikkel over overseeing that um yeah so okay okay so I did notice that okay so you've divided everything all the way to final submission and I noticed a lot of overlapping so was this um what was the strategy here? Because I've had you multiple times, Elamako multiple times. So what are the strategies for you guys to have multiple people on different tasks? Um, I think it's to increase communication between uh, the components um, that we're working on. Uh, we noticed last week that it was kind of uh, one person by themselves. Okay, not so much by themselves, but there was... Okay, so this... Um, repetition of people is to increase communication um, and also hopefully to make integration easier because uh, one person is most likely like working in two different uh, areas um, which need to be integrated and therefore like promote a deeper understanding um, yeah and Okay, that seems like a solid approach. I hope it will work and we'll get to hear feedback around tomorrow or Thursday. So, yeah, so I don't know the group that you are assigned to meet with. Have you had any plans? Have you met really what's the plans there? Um, we were assigned to meet with group four. We have not um, met with them yet. Um, I think we shall make plans to maybe to reach out today. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll still see how that goes from tomorrow. And so I see that the group group three is actually seeking each other on on the text on the chat. So I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, maybe so we still have group four, not Maybe we have someone from group four to tell us a bit on how they do. Group four, somebody from group four. Yes, that's Janet. Yes, Janet. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, yesterday we have uh, 
we have uh, around two meetings uh, uh, yesterday one meeting for after the tutorial sessions and uh, we try to overview some tasks and uh, we try to divide to each uh, members of the group and uh, uh, today also before stand up uh, one hour before stand up we had a meeting and uh, we try to update some of uh, the thing what was done and what was uh, about the uh, whole uh, back testing and so on. Uh, about we we also try to review about task the concept part. Uh, and uh, yesterday we had also each members of the group had its own uh, tasks and. Uh, uh, based of uh, based on our members, we try to divide the tasks. Kabat, uh, the Mikael working on Emulops, which is task three, and Josias and Felicity is working on <coughs> task four, and uh, me and Amanuel are working on task two, and so on. But there is some overlapping, and uh, each of the members must know what is done on each uh, task. Uh, and we try to update each other like that and uh, also we tried to create for interim submissions some documents uh, to put each of the members what understand from the concept part to the documents uh, that is already shared and uh, that is our good. Okay, so thank you, Janet, for that update. So I just have a few, a few follow-up questions. I've had a distribution of tasks on, I think, MLOPS, Kafka, and back testing, and I know there are more more tasks than that, like maybe Airflow, the design, just uh, managing of um, the repository, maybe doing some form of database schema. I don't know if you guys have have a plan on the other tasks or um, what's the plan for the other tasks. Yeah, yeah, we have a plan, but but we have, first we try to uh, through the each tasks and uh, uh, we try to divide. Even if we are we are assigned on one tasks, but we uh, try to uh, view the other also tasks what is done, and then we try to update to each other and we try to support it to each other. That is our uh, argument and the discussion. Oh, okay, so maybe you can ask the last question. You say yeah, that maybe, each... maybe Amanuel may add something. Okay, Amanuel, Amanuel, yeah. go ahead. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, to add up what uh, Gunnet has just said, uh, by uh, designing a backing, uh, we mean that. Uh, uh, for example, setting up airflow, uh, we need to consume and produce, uh, actually, we need to produce something in order to successfully design the backing. So, uh, by uh, backing design, we mean all uh, those things incorporated under it. Uh, database will also be included here. So, uh, people assigned to design the backing, that is main internet. Uh, are also responsible for those subtasks. And uh, by fronting, for example, uh, uh, setting up a uh, React Native environment or uh, end or um, backing settings like uh, Node.js or Flask API uh, are included in the setting up front end task. They are like subtasks. So, people assigned there are supposed to think about all of them uh, when trying to perform the task. And uh, there are also uh, some subsidiary overlapping tasks. Uh, for example, task one is about understanding the problem uh, and uh, getting some overview and highlights about what bug testing and uh, specifically bug trading is. Uh, so, that task, for example, and the last task also, uh, report writing, uh, are overlapping tasks, and uh, we will create. Uh, we created a publicly shared document, and everybody is uh, able to write his or her idea into that document. So that at the end of the day, we'll have a 
for the composed uh, report writing and communication uh, ways. So I think uh, that's how it is supposed to go. Okay, thank you, Manel, for making that a little bit more clear. I just hope that when what you said, if you have backend design, there are many tasks that fall under backend design. I hope that yes. everyone in the group who's assigned to that specific task, they also know that they actually are they actually supposed to do all as all those other. I think now we can call them subtasks for your group. Yeah, sure. It will be a lot, but. Uh... Uh, people finishing their tasks first will will be there to the rescue and uh, okay. help and aid. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for that group four. And I also noted from group three that you have not yet met. So just yes. uh, the lead, the lead of those two groups you can just decide when is the best time that works for both groups and uh, you can just share some ideas. We've also had from each and every group and we've had the strategy for each group. So if you if you can pick up from what another group is already doing, just uh, pick up and discuss it among the group. See if it will it could actually work for you as well. And for MTN and, and group one as well, so many strategies have been outlined today. So if there's anything you can just pick up from here and here, just make everything work for you. In addition to what you already had planned. So up to there, I don't know if there's anyone else who's feeling left out. Something has not been mentioned about the group you're in, or maybe just something in general you want to share about this week's challenge, what you're feeling about this week's challenge. Anyone? Is the hand by a million? <laughs> And it's time for you. Yes, there's a hand up. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Uh, I'm the one, not a million. Okay. okay. Uh, I just want to make a quick uh, announcement. Uh, we all know we're in week eight, and the career's exercise for this week uh, is selecting your track. So I just want to let you all know forehand that you'll be selecting your track, which you'll be eventually pursuing. So you have just this week to make your decision on the track you you want to pursue. So if you're having any difficulty in selecting your track, you can just reach out to any of your technical tutor or reach out to any of the careers tutor to guide you. So that's all I have to share. But uh, do we have anyone on this call who, whom at this moment is not sure of the track you want to pursue so far? <clears throat> Anyone? So the question is for anyone who's not sure. Yes, and then it's... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, and then it can go on. Okay, I haven't uh, decided which track to go, but uh, my issue or my question is not about that. Rather, uh, like, uh, now we're going to select our track, so... Uh, how does it affect us like going forward? Is it going? Is there going to be like uh, any different or specific projects what, that we're going to be working on? Like, like some group may work on some tasks regarding their truck, or some others like do different. Uh, how's it going to be like? Uh, mo moving forward, upon selecting a truck, I think you'll be more focused on the truck which you've selected. I think the technical two guys can answer that better. But uh, with selecting your track, you are more focused on the track which you have selected. So if, uh, like we you said, don't... you like 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 you said, you you you've not made a decision on which of the track you you want to pursue, uh, you can reach out to. We'll be having a Q and A session, which will be led by Aaron later in the afternoon today. So you can just raise it up that you don't know the track you want to pursue yet. You need any further guidance. Uh, perhaps you we've all divided the old 32 journeys into groups. Uh, 16 are being uh, mentored or guided by me, while the other 16 are being uh, put through by Maureen. So if you have any issues regarding the regarding the regarding pursuing a track, you can just reach out to me or Maureen.
or better still argon or any of your technical tutors they can just further guide you in that aspect uh what i actually uh uh want to know is like how's it going how's it the uh, training going to be like after selecting this uh okay okay i i well, think i answered that me, i i from uh, my side, following, from you. following okay from your side not from my side like from you like from ten academy from the training okay is it going to okay. be anything different okay uh upon selecting your team uh your truck uh like i said your training is going to be focused on more on the track which you have selected that's easy you're going to be, uh, get more intense training in that aspect rather than the general aspect you you you're being trained in so the training uh, would be like a partition based on the trucks uh, available yes yes based on your selected track okay so like uh, as we've like been doing uh, like previously there is not going to be some like one project uh, that's all going to precipitate rather it is going to be like a specific projects for a specific uh truck uh, truck yeah 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 okay. so so the that's that's not even an issue at the moment the the, the first issue is uh guiding you towards selecting your your ideal truck so if which is why I'm raising this up. Should you have any questions about your track selection or you need any uh, ad advice, you can just bring it up during the session with Argon later in the day. So Amol, I see you you your answers. Or can we just take the last one before we just go? I oh oh okay fish you can just speak and let's yeah thanks uh okay so just to make things sure are we going to uh diverse are we going to uh follow diverse tracks after we selected our uh track is that what you say oh that's what you're saying uh, and the second question is uh i'm not really sure i didn't uh see it but can you clarify if there are going to be two uh, submissions for this week's non-technical challenge on uh, yeah. interim i think i saw that but i didn't went on to it so maybe clarify on that thank you very much uh i think we'll clarify on that during the career session which we'll be having later but in a nutshell we'll be having two two submission which is the interim and the final submission so you can just go through the guide and it will further help you i think i'll be dropping a few comments in the careers channel but uh regarding your first questions like and then it's asked if you've selected a truck that your training will be more focused on that particular truck which you have selected is that clear yes so trainings and the weeks are not going to be uh the, the same for everybody after this week so yeah yeah people it, that it, are uh, going to choose engineering are going to be given a data engineering task and yes. the same for machine learning and virtually okay thank you yeah. Absolutely. Okay, maybe correct. maybe just to clarify to clarify something a little bit, Abu Bakar. So as you all know, you've only done one Web three challenge, and uh, for the next okay. one or two weeks, we're still going to do all of us the same challenges. So that for the ones who are still interested in Web three, I think there will be another Web three challenge before we do the specializations at the end. So we will still do grow all of us will be doing the challenges but around week 11 and 12 is where we'll have around uh two to three projects just on the same week for you guys to just focus on your track so for the next week we'll still be doing all the challenges all of us okay back to your bucker uh, okay okay i i think we we are running out of time and then and Amo, you can just slam your question or just drop it on the careers channel so i think we'll just hand over back to emilian for the outset emilian are you with us on this call we've just finished the stand-up because it's time for the next hot seat. I don't know if we 
the house was already announced uh-huh. if you're here and you're the host seat you could just maybe just so the, so the sure is on the recording call. is there anything else i'm around no okay. <laughs> i don't need <laughs> quiet <laughs> I was just caught up with something here. Uh, Give me a sec. Just about to depart. Okay, so let me just end the recording.